it's got a lot better. So when I started, it was very strict. It was yeah. like a certain measurement, especially around your hips, mm -hmm. that needed to be a certain like yeah. number. And if you were one centimeter above it, it was like, you need to be at least this number. Like it was very like that. Yeah. Um, and in the beginning, there was a lot of stress around that. And I remember all my friends doing the same thing that I got to know through modeling. That was one of those things that that you just had to have that magical number at least mm -hmm. or be below it. And I don't find that at all anymore. In general, I think that changed quite a lot, um, but it still definitely comes with, obviously there's some kind of body type that mm -hmm. people are looking for. But I feel like when I'm working, I see more and more different people and I've changed a lot as well. Like. I definitely don't look the way I did when I was 17 and doing modeling. Like, because back then it was, I had to be so skinny mm -hmm. and, and also being a teenager, I mean, your body changes as well. Um, so it's been really, I feel like it has changed, but it depends on the city and where you are. Like, I feel like London is really good for this. Like, yeah. it's more acceptance mm -hmm. than if you go to like Milan. I feel like there might be a little bit more like, it could be a bit more, you should have a certain measurement. Yeah. Coming to the plus size thing, I feel like something that's been a little bit of an issue in the modeling world is that it always has to be these like extremes. So it's like either your plus size and mm. then there's also certain measurements that mm. you need to achieve to be plus size <laughs> or you All need right. to be like skinny and have these certain, you know, like there's never really it hasn't been much room to just be you, like be a normal human. Yeah. There's always these like extremes in a way mm -hmm. like portrayed rather than like humans. Yeah. Um, but this is what I feel like is changing because I consider myself looking fairly human. Like I don't feel like I'm super skinny or, you know, I'm fairly normal. And I feel like that's finally accepted in a way. It depends on the brand and mm -hmm. all that, but it is becoming more and more normal, which is great. Like I've done sports since I was little, like I've always been active and it was always been like, it wasn't like, oh, now I need to start working mm -hmm. out. Like it's just always been there and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it was never really a big change for that, but I did definitely have to do diets and stuff mm -hmm. when I started doing modeling because of these crazy measurements that was acquired. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to do this. So I wanted, I was like, I'm just gonna, of course it's worth it yeah. like i want to go on this journey mm -hmm. uh i wasn't really thinking much about it and for a while i was definitely i think i was on a diet i wasn't considering myself necessarily on a diet because i would still drink and have dessert and like mm -hmm. do things but it was still under a very controlled matter and i yeah. think this is something that it's so easy to get caught up in and just thinking that you you don't have any issues with food mm -hmm. um whereas I would say most of my model friends, now looking back at it, we all had it. Mm. And it just kind of becomes part of the job. And it's it's weird. And now I'm kind of out of that and I'm actually, like I don't have a diet for real. Yeah. <laughs> like other than just eating, you know, I, obviously I don't eat fried food all the time, but I wouldn't want fried food all the time. So it's like, it, yeah, I don't really think about it in that sense anymore.